Our first stop on this scientific journey is the I Explore exhibit. Explore! That's right, Alex. We have a very fun day at Liberty Science Center planned for you guys. What exactly am I going to be able to do here in this exhibit? Well, today, Alex, I think we're going to play some music on some rocks. I think we'll race some cars down a hill, but we have to put the tires on first. Then we're going to paint with water on a big rock wall and watch it disappear. And then I think we'll launch some balls through the air. We're about to rock out and make our own music on a giant rock xylophone. Thomas, looks like we're going to be playing some music over here. We are. We're going to rock and roll using our stone tones here. We're going to hit our stone xylophone here and see how wild of the sound we can make and feel the vibrations, that shaking motion of the rocks yeah. after we hit it. Can we try that? Please. You ready? Let's do it. So. Now, that sounds pretty good. Let's put our hand very lightly on it. You can feel that. Oh, yeah. Pretty neat, huh? That shaking, that's that where that sound comes from. Yeah. Exactly. Let's try it again. Let's do a little All bit right. more. See if we can really whack it super hard and then feel that vibration again. Oh, that's super cool, isn't it? Yeah, totally. Now, I know you like to play music. And one of my favorite things is when we're singing and playing music is to feel the vibrations of the sound in our throat. And I know, can we, can we sing a note together? Let's totally, sing a... Sure. Uh, uh, ooh, can, uh, you, can, you, can you feel that vibration in your throat, too? I can, yeah. Isn't that great? That same sound, that same vibration that we were getting here from the rock, we can still feel that sound vibration in our throats, too. Pretty cool. Check out this cool two-story ball machine. This is one of my favorite parts of Liberty Science Center. This is our ball launcher. It has a special air cannon that can help you launch a ball on a trip through a maze. Air pressure is what gets these balls soaring. Now here you have the opportunity to launch balls in all sorts of different directions and control which way they go down the ramps. Are you ready to try it? Absolutely. All right, so this green ball is gonna go up in there. Mm -hmm. Toss it right in. Here we go. And in it goes. What we're going to do, we're going to turn a wheel that's going to lift a very heavy piece of metal. Right, I think it's almost there. Under that piece of metal, we're going to create a big space of air. When the big piece of metal drops, all that air is going to push out through a tube and send our ball up to that bullseye right there. Next up, we learn about evaporation. How does this work? I don't see any paint anywhere. Exactly, you're right. All we have is our paintbrush in the water. Usually, if you're going to paint, you'd need some more paint, some watercolors to mix with this. But this is a very special paint wall. It's made of a kind of rock called slate. Mm. The thing I like about slate the most is that when you paint on it with some water, if you give it a little bit of time, it starts to disappear. Now, the water's not really disappearing. It's changing. It's going from liquid water to water vapor going back out into the air around us. I'm going to draw a happy face. I like it. All right, here we go. Maybe I'll draw a comet. Now, you, maybe you can tell me what I'm drawing. OK, OK, I'll guess. Here we go. It's a guitar. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Awesome. But Alex, look, right under your guitar, you remember where we painted those lines earlier? Yeah. They've already started to disappear. And if you look, really, look, it's, it's disappearing right, right before our eyes. It's evaporating right there. How does building your own race car sound? Now, I'm going to give you one of our car bodies here. I'm going to take one, too. Now, we have two different size tires for you to try. Right. We have some really, really big ones or some really, really small ones. Now, it's up to you. What do you think would you like, what would you like to put on your car? What do you think is going to win the race, the big wheels or the small wheels? I think the big wheels. I think the big wheels? All right. Well, just for fun, for the experiment, there's your four. I'll do small wheels. All right. Let's see. Let's see Here what we happens. Go. Will the larger wheeled car outrace the smaller wheeled car? All right, time to find out if it's the big wheels or the small wheels that are going to win this race. Thomas and I challenge each other and race our cars on this test track. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I didn't even make it to the end. So why do you think, Alex? What, what do you think slowed the big wheels down and made the small wheels go fast? Well, I imagine with the big wheels, there's more surface that actually has to turn for it to get to the bottom. That's what I think so, too. Because the wheels are bigger, it takes them longer to go around, so the small wheels are going to get there faster. And they're heavier, too. Exactly. Right? That's what I was going to say. I think they're just, I think those are so heavy, it takes them a little while to get started, too, where our small wheels, they're right down the track. Yeah, so in this case, less is more. I like it. I like it. 
my favorite part of the iExplore exhibit is conducting my first science experiment of the day. I get to make snow. This is called instant snow. Okay. It's a very, very special kind of plastic, which actually kind of behaves like salt. Doesn't look much like snow yet, does it? Looks no. more like sand and feels more like sand. What yeah, or like salt. Exactly, yeah. So what we're going to do with it, we're gonna give it a little bit of water and then see what happens. All right. Are you ready? We're gonna add one cup of water, dump the whole thing in. Now let's watch very carefully. Wait for it. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> and... Oh! There it goes. Pretty cool, huh? Awesome. Instant snow.